Lutas Bigana. Hey guys, it's Kanvalva here and today we're going to talk about time stretching. I've had clients in the past who have asked me how to sync up beats and loops to the right timing without changing the pitch. So if you're facing something like that, then here's a quick tutorial for you on how to do that. So fitting to tempo usually has two simple steps and the first one is detecting tempo and the second one is to fit to the right tempo. So if you uh, come here in FL Studio and bring up a sample into the playlist, sounds like this. So if you look here, I've got a sample loaded up into the timeline and here it says that it is 120 BPM, the sample, and the project's BPM is around 140. So when I play it with the metronome, you would see that it's kind of out of sync. So in this case, we have the title saying what the BPM of the sample is, but there are times when you won't have access to that data. And in that case, what we would do is we'll try to detect the tempo of the sample first. So to do that first, I'm going to go into this menu here and click on detect tempo. And that would open up this dialog box over here, which is going to have a couple of options for you. Now, most often than not, FL is going to do its own estimation of what the BPM of the sample is. And that BPM is usually shown over here. For now, you can see that FL has not done a good job and it thinks it is at 135 BPM when actually it is at 120 BPM. So for now, what we are going to do is we are going to select a range which is closest to what the, the BPM which you think the sample might be in. So just by listening to it, you know, I can sort of take a guess and see how much the BPM would be. I think it is around 110 to 130 BPM, you know, just by listening to it. But you can always use the tap option here, the tempo tapper. Well, you can see that it says around 118, 119 or 120 BPM, somewhere around that. So I know what the closest BPM of the sample would be. So I'm going to go back into detect tempo now and select a range which contains that value which was there when I tapped into the tempo tapper. So for this one, I would select the 75 to 150. And you can see that FL Studio has detected the BPM as 120.008. Most often than not, this number over here is not uh, required. You need to round it off to the closest BPM. So in this case, the BPM would be 120. So now we're going to actually fit it to tempo. And for that, we're going to go back into the menu and click on fit to tempo. And here we're going to type the tempo by going into the sixth option, which is type in BPM. And we're going to type 120 because that is what the uh, BPM of the sample is according to our detection. And when we hit enter, it's going to time stretch the sample into the right BPM. Now the sample is restretched into the project's actual BPM without changing the pitch. This works on about anything, it doesn't have to be just loops or melody patterns like this. You can apply the same trick to anything. If you want to do it manually then you can also do it using the time stretching feature that the audio clip comes with. I usually use the auto or stretch mode as they do a fairly good job at this. But if you want to know more, then ImageLine has made a completely detailed video on this topic. I will link that in the description. If you're looking for track feedback, mix and master or any help with music production, then you can always contact me over here and in my mail. So I'll put those links in the description as well. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And if you found this helpful, then consider hitting the like and subscribe button.